Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob, and in this video we are going to be making some nifty toggle switches in pure CSS. These are just like checkboxes, they just look different. Alright, so let's get started. Starting with empty CSS file here, I just have two files, CSS file and my HTML file. And all that I have in the HTML is four inputs, type checkbox, class, toggle switch, and two of them are checked. All right. So this is what we're going to do. Select in our CSS, input with type checkbox, class, toggle, switch. All right. And now I'm just going to copy this line four times, uh, actually two for now, um, checked. I'm just getting this all set up. Copy that. There we go. And then these are going to have after pseudo element there. After. All right. So this is what we're dealing with. The after pseudo element is going to be the little dot that goes from side to side. And we're animating that. And let's start with this. So as you can see, these are normal checkboxes, but we don't want to have the checkbox look to any of this. So we're going to remove that by saying appearance none. And these have to be prefixed. Moz appearance none and web kit appearance none. So now our checkboxes look like nothing. All right, and now some styles that actually make it look like something. Uh, width, width, if I can spell it, 6m, height, 3m, border radius of 3m, so it's going to have completely rounded corners, and a background color of ddd, which is a light gray. Okay, and that's what they look like now. They don't, don't do anything if I click on them except a little outline shows up if you can see that on the video. So we're going to remove that outline. Zero. No outline. Okay, and uh, make it look clickable. So we'll say cursor pointer. And all right, perfect. Moving on to what it looks like when it's checked. So I'm just going to change the background color to a light blue, uh, say 3AF. I think that, yep, that's it. Okay, and now it changes color when it's checked. I'm going to add a transition. Background color. 0 0.09 seconds, ease, in, out. All right, now we have transition when it's checked. Cool. And now on to styling the dot that's going back and forth. Since it's the after pseudo element, we have to say content, no content, but that makes element appear, so that's why. Uh, width, width of 3M, height of 3M, background color white, and border radius 3M. Oh, it's not showing up because position absolute, and this then needs position relative. Okay, and now they're showing up, but it's kind of bleeding around here because of it's not lined up correctly or anti-aliasing or something like that. Not sure. Anyways, we're just gonna fix that by transforming and scaling it down to like 0 0.7. There, that looks nice. Okay, and now let's move the dot. So since it's positioned absolutely, uh, 
relative to the parent element here, kind of. We have left zero, that's just to make it clear what's going on. And then animating it to left of 3m. Then we have to add the transition 0 0.09 seconds, but it'd be consistent here. Uh, left 0 0.09 seconds, ease in, out. All right. And they animate back and forth. Absolutely lovely. And I'm just going to add a box shadow for these dots so that they stick out a little more. So box shadow 0, 0, 0.1m RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0.5. That'll give us a nice box shadow. There we go. Now they kind of pop out a little more. Oh, I'm just uh, zooming in here, by the way. You can change the size, since we're using M, really easily by coming up here and saying font size, say, 20 pixels. Now they're bigger. Or if I change it to be really small, like 2 pixels, now they're really tiny. They still work. And you can use these with JavaScript. Like I said, they're just checkboxes that look different. Pretty versatile. Anyways, guys, my name is Jacob. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope you learned something from it. Don't forget to subscribe and have a good one.